Hi, I'm Ping and welcome to my kitchen with Malaysia Kitchen. We're going to make beef rendang today. It's a really decadent dish and a celebratory dish in Malaysia. It starts with a spice paste and then it's just with love and some patience of cooking down the beef gently. So first thing we're going to do is to make the spice paste. Here we have got six shallots, roughly chopped. We need a good quality blender. We're going to have 30 grams of galangal. Now, if you haven't seen galangal before, I'm going to show you. Looks very similar like ginger, isn't it? It's much more fibrous than ginger. It has a paler look and also a much nuttier taste. You need about 30 grams of that. Dry chilies, which we have soaked in hot boiling water for about 20 minutes and removed the seeds. And then lemongrass. Now to prepare the lemongrass, we'll cut off the top. We need three of those. Cut the bottom bit off and peel off the first layer. I just want the tenderest bit of the lemongrass. We loosen the paste with about a tablespoon of oil and we blend until smooth. So the paste is ready. It's really smooth. In a heavy base saucepan, we're going to add about three to four tablespoons of oil and this is to help to fry the paste. All the paste from here to the pan. So on gentle heat, we want to fry the paste until it releases its aromas. Add one bashed lemongrass and using the bottom of your knife very carefully away from you slightly bash it. This is to release its aroma and also flavour. Here we have about one kilogram of shin. I love using shin. You can use skirt with this dish but I love using shin is because running through it is a gelatinous strain of the beef. So when it's slow cooked and breaks down, it helps keep the meat moist. We add this to the paste. Once it's all mixed in. We're going to add 400 ml of coconut milk. Now I'm using thick, full fat coconut milk. I'm going to add 250 ml of water as well. And lastly, about two tablespoons of tamarind. We want to bring this to the boil and then reduce it to low heat and simmer for an hour and a half. We have 60 grams of desiccated coconut here, which we are going to toast in a pan. Give it a shake to even it out. Lightly toast until it is golden brown. Got to be careful that we have to move it around so that it's evenly cooked. And we call this in Malaysia karisik, which is toasted coconut. It cooks really quickly. It's soon and it's evenly brown, you can take it off the heat and cool down. I'm just gonna leave it, go and have a cup of tea and come back. This has had about an hour and a half on gentle simmer. Look, the meat is starting to break down and to thicken the sauce further, we're gonna add our toasted coconut in here. about one teaspoon of sugar. Now this is to balance out the acidity and also the saltiness from the chicken stock powder. And about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. We want to fold in into the beef. And lastly, we want to add these kefir lime leaves and we want to scrunch them a little bit. And we'll put the lid back on and simmer for another half an hour. So after about two hours of gentle simmering and your patience, we are left with this beef rendang that is cooked down. To check whether it's ready, gently squeeze the meat together and it will actually come away between your fingers and that's when it's ready. Spoon this lovely rendang onto my bowl. Now, rendang traditionally in Malaysia, we serve it with lemang. Lemang is a sticky rice cooked in bamboo on open fire. Now, we don't have any 
uh, open fire here or bamboo and actually I find it a little bit too rich for my liking so I love serving a rendang with just a bit of plain rice or here we've got some turmeric rice because this dish is already quite decadent and I just want to just enhance its flavour by just pairing it with something quite plain. I have a little bit of toasted coconut here, extra. I'm just going to sprinkle it a little bit on the top for decorations. So here's my beef rendang. It's really easy to make. Um, the only thing that you need to actually put some time and effort in is making the paste. Now, like I say, if you don't want to do that bit, you can always buy the paste from Ocado. I think my mom would actually like this as well. <laughs>